On top of all sorts of social media channels, Snatchbot also allows you to connect the chatbot that you've built to email channels. By doing so, you allow yourself to reach a much greater number of customers, especially if you're in an area where people do prefer to use email versus other social platforms. So here's how you can do that. First, from the left-hand menu, we'll select My Bots. Next, we'll select the chatbot that we want to connect to email, in this case, HealthBud. Then from the left-hand menu, we'll select Channels. And next, Email. Now, when you're doing this, the domain that's used for the email address that you'll create to match up with it will be at bot.snatchbot.me. To make the platform work, you can't use a custom domain. However, you can easily set up forwarded emails within your domain of your choice so that you can easily track it. Now, this is one channel that when connecting is super important that you do your testing. Now, this is because some things in the bot logic, as you'll see so noted here, like connections with exactly matches conditions can be affected by different pieces of code in different email clients. So as always with this, the more testing you do, the better results you're going to get. So because I'm connecting to HealthBud, I'll call this HealthBud1 at snatchbot.me, and then I'll click Deploy. So let's show you how this actually works. I'm going to jump over to another tab. I have an email send, HealthBud. one at bot dot snatch bot dot and me and I'll say hello and hi and then I'm just going to send it now while the response is sent one other thing that I'll show you is the share this bot button now this is very useful if you want to add somewhere on your web page where customers can click and begin communicating via email. So this is done with either a widget button or a widget pop-up as shown here. Now you can choose the channels that as well as the message and the icon that you want to display here. So as you can see, as always with things in the Snatchbot platform, as you make these changes, you can see them as they would appear. For example, as we'd want here, select email only. And now this will tell people to use this specific email address. And you can also change the icons and different channels as you'd like. And finally, you have your code snippets, whether it be JavaScript or HTML, that you can copy and place onto your web page in the location where you want the widget or the pop-up or button to display. So now let's go back, let's check it out. And there's my message from HealthBud. And now with this, I can start moving through the flow and press buttons and receive responses much like I would if I were going through in another messaging platform. And with that, we're at the end of our tutorial. Thanks for watching.